name is Nick, and in today's video, we are looking at a blog section that's going to show our most recent blogs. Uh, this is a, actually a video from my upcoming course. I'm currently recording. It should be available in just a couple weeks on Shopify theme development. So if you are looking to up your skills or learn how to uh, do development in the Shopify theme ecosystem, then this course is going to be perfect for you. We're going to break down uh, all the different aspects and architectures of themes, and we're also going to build one from scratch. So I hope that you enjoy this. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so I know I said we were done with the homepage, but there is one more section that I want to add I forgot about, and it's going to be down here at the bottom, and it's just going to be a featured section of our most recent blogs. And this is going to be probably something I'll, I might add to the product page as well, so I think it will be a really useful section. So what I will do is, for starters, I went into my theme admin and I created three blog posts. So if you come into the online store and then blog posts, you're able to create these here. So there's there's just dummy content there for now, but I just wanted to make sure that we actually you know, are able to reference that. I also am going to first look at the documentation here for the blogs and the articles. So it's a little bit confusing, but blogs is a notion of you can have any different types of blogs. So you may have different sections. So if we look at the Shopify admin, you can see here, it says Shopify right here. And that's not from Shopify, that's from me. If you look at the, um, the blog category here, I created one called Shopify. So there's one called Shopify and there's one called News, but there's none that are actually assigned to News right now. That just comes standard. So when you look at the blogs, you actually have to pick the category and then you can access the articles, which are the actual blogs themselves. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go through and loop through the, blog, the articles that belong to our blog type of category Shopify. So um, I know that might be a little bit confusing, but for now, let's dig into the code. So I must say one thing too um, that's definitely worth mentioning, especially if you are using the Shopify CLI, is that when you are running your local server and you go in and do some customizations here, well, unfortunately, when you stop your server uh, and push these changes up, they are not going to persist and they're not going to be pushed up to your um, Shopify admin. So what I did is I pushed this code up and then I went in in the actual admin and added all of the data here. And then when you pull that, you do have access to everything that's added to this theme editor, but it's just something to be aware of. That's kind of annoying at times where this work, your code will stay the same, but these customizations you've made will not persist. So I want to point that out. Another couple things I want to point out is that when I did push and pull this code, I got some error messages in the terminal and they basically said we were unable to remove the gift card.liquid file from the remote. And then we also uh, could not remove the settings data JSON and the settings schema JSON. So you'll see there's still all the data here from the DOM theme on these files. I didn't add this. So I just wanted to let you know that these files were kind of automatically added. I'll probably go in and customize them later on, but just so you're aware, when you see these new files being added, that was Shopify doing that. Okay, so what we are gonna do is go into our sections and I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna call it featuredblogs.liquid. But first what I'm gonna do is actually create our CSS file to go along with this. So I will create one called featuredblogs.css. You don't have to do this in a separate file, right? You can always uh, just add this directly into this file by doing this and pasting everything there. Um, I'm gonna add it to a different file though, just to make it a little cleaner. I'll also add my schema first. All right, and then I'm going to up here reference first thing, uh, our featured blogs. CSS, and that is an asset URL, style sheet tag, cool. All right, and then if I do, just to test, I'm gonna do this, and if I come here, hopefully I can add this section. Uh, I don't see it yet. Maybe I need to refresh. 
Awesome. Okay, cool. It is there now. So I have that saved and now we can start writing some code. First off, I suppose I will paste this CSS in. I'm not going to go through and explain it as I often don't, but it should be pretty uh, straightforward. If you do want to look into it, you know, it's for the, it's kind of the section and there's going to be individual cards and then, you know, the content within the cards. So it should be pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm going to come into this HTML and I'm going to start with a section. And then I'll take a div class container. And now here's where I'm going to actually do some logic here on the, the Shopify object I was showing you earlier, uh, the blogs right here. So this again, blogs is like the different categories of blogs that we have. So this logic is going to be a for loop where we say for blog in blogs and then we need to do the uh, name of the category which I've named Shopify and then if and then it's uh, articles so now we have access to each individual article is actually what it's called if we look at the documentation here the article itself so this is what we're accessing so um, I guess I can change this name just to be more uh, descriptive and then I'm going to end this article and now I am going to put in the actual logic here, excuse me, the actual uh, HTML. For now, I'm just gonna leave this empty. And I keep typing blog, but it's article. And I'll leave this tag empty for now. And then I'm going to just paste in uh, this SVG icon. Perfect. And then we should have all of our closing tags here. All right, excellent. So if I come back and refresh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is everything I wanted to see, actually. It has the text and everything other than the images. So let's get the image working. So if I look at the documentation, I can see that there is an image field here. So I'm going to try this and let's see if I do article dot image and then image URL. Let's give that a go. Okay. And I actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've added an image. So let me check here. Yeah, there is no image. So of course it's not going to display anything. Let me upload a couple images. So I'm going to come in here to Featured Image, and I'm just going to add um, an image that I, I think I have saved on my YouTube channel homepage. So I will add this to all three. Okay, cool. So if we come back here. All right, excellent. So it is working. I have my image here. So now we just need to get this link working. So again, let's come back here. And let's see, uh, there should be a URL, so let's try that. Um, I guess this is going to be difficult to do. We're going to have to inspect because we have not created the blog template yet, so this is not going to be available yet. Uh, however, we can see that the href says blog Shopify testing blog 3. So that does, in fact... That does look correct. We will test it as soon as we create the blog template and the blog page, which is what we're going to do next. And I'll see you in the next course. All right. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned, this is one video from my course on Shopify theme development, where we go through and break down exactly how to build a theme from scratch and how to edit existing themes. Um, this course is something that's been very highly requested. So I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, let me know below. And if you have any uh, videos you'd like to see, make sure you comment below and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks.